Welcome Virgo. This is going to be your singles love reading for April. Hope everybody is doing well. We're going to, whoa, whoa, what happened here? We got the shadow. Oh, I got a clear message. Oof. Okay. There is an energy that is very dark who's trying to either cloud your judgment, make things confusing, and it's causing a lot of, um, or has caused a lot of pain, where you could only go up from here, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and grab the cards, because I don't know, this is a very, uh, that was a clear message there, give me one second. Ooh, we got you at the Eight of Wands, we have the Lovers, the challenge is the Four of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Somebody's feeling rejected by your energy. And I feel they're feeling rejected is because you either set some freaking high, healthy boundaries or protecting yourself here and they're not liking it. So you're standing your ground. A lot of progress is coming to you. A lot of you guys could be going towards somebody somebody new. But once you're on this spiritual path with the Hierophant, which is in the near future, you could be seeing some fives. It's very hard to knock you off a path, that spiritual path. Yes. Okay. Four of Wands. There's a struggle. There's a separation. There's a disconnect. I feel in the in the past there is a feeling of feeling whole within yourself very self-made energy overcame a lot you you know this is a, a lot of spiritual growth here king of wands coming in this could be somebody's energy um somebody who has this sign um aries leo sagittarius but they're thinking about this ace of wands in the near future you have the hierophant nine of wands there's a there's a feeling of not giving up okay there's calmer days ahead but this is a feeling of really standing your ground with that nine of wands determined you're resilient you went through a lot this is like a final push here and this is like the motivation that is needed when facing difficulties so let's see what is happening here with the lovers Nine of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Judgment. There's an awakening here or someone here wanting who's desiring you. But there is an, also an energy of an imbalance. Something's out of balance. The Nine of Swords is in your energy. I feel that this is where the challenge that you're pushing through here with the Nine of Wands. Nine. So the Nine of Swords can be a feeling of mentally overwhelmed, right? Still, someone's still unclear. There's a lot of, uh, there's a need for clarity in the challenge. Something still feels a bit, you know, unclear here. The Star, Hangman. I feel your angels have been with you since day one, <laughs> okay? This is, <laughs> this is a, like... Like everything that you've gone through, it's this star, your prayers, you know, like if you prayed for strength, if you prayed for, you know, whatever you prayed for, it's like maybe not have been answered in the exact way that you thought, but you have strong guidance here in the past, very until now. Sorry, all these cards are wanting to flip out. This is a beautiful reading here. Ooh, we got the Magician. Beautiful. That came out. But let's see. We got the Fool in their energy. What they're thinking. They want to pursue this. Somebody wants a new beginning with you. Okay, they do. Somebody here is wanting a new get beginning with you. They are coming out as pursuing. Wanting to pursue. But there's a block. Two of Swords. This is not giving into something. Stagnant energy. I feel you're being protected or protecting yourself in your spiritual path from someone coming in or anybody coming in. They can't just come in like the Knight of Wands, you know, all 
rushy and pursuing. They, there, there's a there's a need for stability and consistency, especially when you're on this spiritual path. This is heading to an ending. This is heading to an ending that brings in so much joy, happiness, and abundance. That's why I feel that there is a and there's a, a lot of motivation and inspired action, kind of like a feeling of perseverance, right? Like a final push to get to this ending because it does show a separation here with somebody in the shadow, very, very active, which is could be a toxic relationship, toxic person, toxic habits, behaviors, addictions, manipulation, betrayal, lies, deception. The devil represents a lot of dark things. And I feel is that you're here staying on a very spiritual path and being guided by your angels. There is a, there's just a very oh, resilient energy in the outcome. Face it, facing difficulties head on. Brave, courageous. Okay, let's get some advice from spirit. I'm just saying that there is something coming in with a two of swords something's hard it's like it's not maybe for all of you might be not like a hard choice but there is something stagnant and about to make a move and it's all for your best interest so i feel like there's a need to make a choice here for some of you guys here okay as you're going towards an ending something's requiring a lot of strength a lot of motivation to get to the finish line it feels like <laughs> Right, which brings in a lot of change, transformation, and happiness. Okay, let's get advice. A deep realization, wait, wait, hold on, or major breakthrough is experienced within the next few days. I don't know why it's not showing you guys. Okay. Trust is at issue. Use your gut and don't engage in emotion. Cut out false falseness and conditioned ideas. Who you are and how you think and express attracts like energies. Stop withholding communication. So there's like a, a feeling of holding back or withholding something. It could be anything. Again, take what resonates with these, with these advice. But it's like, yeah, it's, it's a need for a lot of strength, big choices, lots of change coming in. I feel that there may, yeah, it may be a big choice, but it's all to bring in positive change, moving you out of chaos into calmer waters. I wish you knew how grateful I am to have met you. Please don't give up on me. I'm done playing games. I'm working up the courage to contact you. That's this. I feel like this is somebody wants a new beginning with you. Yeah, I'll come back for you. All right, let's get the untold messages. Let's see what's going on here. Fights, arguments, and conflicts. You deserve better than me. These are untold messages here. And I uh, love oracles. Walls. I feel like I can't get through to you. Please let me in. Friends or family disapprove of this connection. 
I abandoned people to make myself feel important. Hmm. All right. I feel like we need the Moonology cards. Yes. Let's see what Spirit wants you to do here. What does Virgo need to do, Spirit? You got three cards. Bottom of the deck is see the bigger pictures. Um, full moon in Sagittarius. Believe in your good luck. Spirit wants you to keep your heart open. Talk less, feel more. It's like you have the answers. Feel your, listen to your intuition on this. Beautiful cards. A first quarter moon in Libra, first quarter moon in Pisces, first quarter moon in Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and grab a love message. Look at, remind me of Earth, Earth signs. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Beautiful message there for you guys. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for you, Virgo. I hope this message helped. I brought clarity. Um, or if it helped in any way, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very, very soon. God bless.